Hello. My friend, let me pull this up, asked if we could have a crafting day. This was her inspo pick of something she wanted to make. Steph just messaged that she's gonna get here in 22 minutes. Hi. <laughs> this is Steph. <laughs> Does this look like the right size? I think that's pretty good. I think that's a good size for pops. How many pom-poms do we want to make today? No, I was going to say like, oh, as many as we can. I, that might be less than I thought it would be. Honestly, I feel like if we make 10. I was about to say 10 also. All right, we're going to make that a goal. 10 palms. Okay. And we're cutting. Look at it. Look at the palms starting to form. Oh my gosh! So I'm just gonna knot it here. Double knot, double knot. All right, are we ready? I think we're ready to get it off now. One disc, and the second disc. <laughs> Wow. Oh, this thing is massive. Okay. 10 pom poms. 10 pom poms. In an hour and a half. This one's not as fat as the other ones, but it will have to do because that's the end of the yard. Oh my gosh. This part gets really loose. It's easy for it to come out. So you just have to be careful.
So you're gonna take your two pieces. So this is really thin yarn. So we're gonna have to wrap a lot. I've learned that you're gonna start from under and then you're gonna start wrapping like this. As you're going around the circle, try and imagine if you were starting from the, the center point of the circle, if that makes sense. Because we want every string to be the same length. The string always goes to the center of the circle. Oh, and then it goes, yeah. You'll know you're done when you can't see the opening in the middle anymore. Mm -hmm. What? No, 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 like this is oh my entirely... <laughs> well, it's gonna take forever. I know, that's why I need your help. <laughs> I thought you meant like this gap here. It's not just... No, 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 no. You no, can't no, see no. it. Don't wrap too tight, like it should just be just right. Barely. Okay, if you wrap too tight, it's going to be really hard to cut later. Okay, but it being tight means that it's going to be a very dense, thick pom-pom. Wow, this is thick. Okay, let's compare with the one I just made. I mean... I thought I wrapped it a lot, but look at this. This, this is like the carpet thick. Good job. Wilson's second pom-pom. I feel like it's just as tight. <laughs> This asymmetrical look right now, this is not on purpose. I just don't have enough pom-poms yet, but this is kind of giving me inspiration. Divide the pom poms by the color. The gray ones, cream white or off white accent. So this white and green. Paula reached out and asked if I wanted these rings. I think these are used for sports, maybe drills um, or goals or something like that. For the pattern, what I'm thinking is because this pile here looks like a double these smaller piles, I'm gonna go cream gray and then I'll go back to cream and then do one of these accent ones. So cream gray, cream 
accent. I'm gonna make sure I also try and uh, alternate between the different types within each pile as well. Here's the first one. The reason why I wrapped this is so that when I tie these around, they won't slide around. And for now, because I'm still testing this out, I am just going to tie it once like that, maybe a bow. Okay. I'm trying to tie one along the outside of the circle and then one along the inside of the circle. It would be much easier, I think, if you just hot glued the pom-poms on. But I wanted a little bit of flexibility if I wanted to change up the pom-poms. This is what it looks like right now. As you can see, there are some gaps. So I definitely want to add a line of pom-poms in the middle here. Okay, I still have a couple of pom-poms left, but I actually think it looks pretty cool. So I wanted to show y'all what it looks like when it's not completely filled out, because I actually think that's a great option too. Okay, now I'm gonna try and fill the entire wreath up with pom-poms. There are three lines of pom-poms. I'm actually gonna take off this one here. This was not a quick project at all, but I love how it turned out. I'm curious what y'all think though. Do you prefer the partial pom-pom wreath or the full pom-pom wreath? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!